Hey Libra, what's up, what's good, what's happening? Welcome in, welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Libra or anybody that was drawn here. Take what fits your situation, leave what does not. If none of this hits home, try a different message. We're jumping right on in. This is the Work Your Light Oracles by Rebecca Kimball. See what's coming out for Libra. Um, something about zebra. I know that rhymes with Libra, but for some reason, I'm I'm really hearing zebra. Tell me if I'm wrong, but the only difference between a donkey and a zebra are the stripes. Can't be just me. The age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. That meaning, that meaning does something for you, Libra, in a really good way. Let's use the Light Sears Tarot here. This card's definitely doing tricks. Six of Swords, where it is that you're led and guided. Going with the flow. I don't sink, I just float. Haha. <laughs> okay. I can feel it coming and I can feel it in my bones. Interesting, Libra. I am not really here, I'm an intrusion. The chariot. This is happening faster than you think, Libras. Here's that black and white again. There's something about the duality. It's almost like you're, um, you know how when you're angry, you got a lot of energy and you need to find something to focus it on. You're focusing it on the right thing to do. Positive, motivational, like... Your light and your dark are working hand in hand to help you out here. Like the light is the string, is the connection, but there's this dark that's fueling this drive. Not saying the crows and horses are dark. They're not actually dark. I just think it's like an energy representation here. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, there's a lot of major arcana here for you, Libra. This was bound to happen. It was meant to happen. It's just, you feel like you're just cruising down, doing 35 on a 35, and then all of a sudden, oh my God, I'm getting a phone call from somebody I haven't talked in a minute. I'll have to call you right back, sir. Tower. Oh my gosh. Listen. This is exciting. This is happening faster than you think. This is bigger than you think. You might even reject this blessing thinking that you don't deserve it. Libra Iota. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. Surprise. Unexpected justice. That's you, Libra. That's a lot of major arcana. Four out of five. You've learned a lot. You've learned a lot. There's information. There, it's not just information coming your way. I feel like this is information that you need to keep to yourself, Libra. Probably don't be telling everybody about this. Yeah, Ten of Swords to the Ten of Cups. Keep this to yourself. Voicemail. Keep this to yourself. You might want to reach out and tell somebody, but maybe just not yet. Yeah, because the Nine of Swords, that's the Nightmare card with the Hermit. Don't tell anybody. This is between you and the universe. <laughs> you just keep your head down. Stay focused. Keep moving. Doing your 35 down to 35. Because something is coming. Something is coming. 
and it might be coming like from behind you but it's coming in doing 70 on a 35 you know like this this is something that's catching up to you quick they got lucky and hit every green light you maybe had to stop at a couple they're catching up faster than you think king of cups sideways there's a part of you that's like i don't deserve this yes you do libra <laughs> Five of Swords, that's the, the thoughts that stop you from your Ten of Cups peeking right back out. And that's the Ten of Pentacles also peeking out. Don't let those negative thoughts deter you. Don't reject what's meant for you. I think so many people have told you you're never going to be, or maybe it's just life, right? You've been in so many situations where you're like, I'm never going to something. You keep saying you're never going to something, but you are though. <laughs> it's the magician. You really do manifest this. You deserve this. This is a part of who you are and why you're here. These blessings, listen, sometimes God blesses you. To show others that he is real. People are moved through you. They are shooketh through your story. Temperance. God is absolutely using you. And page of swords. That's the information. Just wait. You think that's good? Just wait. There's more. There's more. There's more. Yes. Yeah, sneaking up from behind you, but not in a bad way. This is going on behind the scenes. The universe is like, Shh, don't tell them. Don't tell them. And then you walk in the doors and it, surprise. It's a party for you. Libra. I don't even want to touch this. Let's just pray where it's at. Oh my gosh. Libra. Oh, you better tell me in the comment. Yeah, you might want to be a little vulnerable. You might want to be open to this because you might not think you deserve it. You're like, no, the divine is like, that was a mistake. Homie, you and I both know the divine don't make no mistakes. What? <laughs> Did you forget how many tears you cried? They didn't. They counted them. Absolutely. Forgiveness for something that didn't last as long as you, and you cried about it. I can't make it up. There is something amazing coming in for you. Dustin faded. Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. I think you need to really understand the boundaries here. And by that, I just mean... What do you keep saying, doing, believing that is putting up a boundary to yourself? Because the divine is about to show you all these mountains that you are surrounded in or maybe you built, right? Ain't no mountain high enough to keep me away from you. The divine will find you every time. It doesn't matter how dark, how deep, how lost you are. When you only see one set of footprints in the sand, know that that's when God is carrying you. You're not alone. Ever, 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 ever. Addiction. What is this repetition? What is this cycle? What is this repetitive thing that you need to put a boundary up and say, no, I do deserve. I want you to look around at what you know you deserve better, okay? Look at that thing and say, this is temporary. I know this isn't where it ends for me. I know it gets better. And I'm excited. And I can wait. And I'll be grateful that I've got at least this for now. But I know that this ain't it. It gets better. It does. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is going to just change everything. Woo! Write it down too, Libra. Oh, especially now. We're about to wrap up... Um, well, the Gregorian calendar anyways, <laughs> not the Zodiac calendar, but it is a version of the new year and you can absolutely channel that energy. Make yourself a dream board. What do you want to do by the end of this year? 
what do you want to do by the end of January, February, March? If you can extend this as much as you want. I would implore you to take a step further and see where the planets are about to be throughout these months and maybe see if you can use that to help your situation and assist you in this manifestation. 10, 11 on the timestamp when I said that. Lots of ones. Interesting. You have 10, Wheel of Fortune, and 11, Justice. You also have one, the Magician. Ones. Libra, I'm going to leave this here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love yous. I freaking love yous. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, mwah, stay beautiful.